Hi guys, today we're going to go over the seven most beautiful cards. If you disagree with this list, name your seven most beautiful cards. Obviously, this will be based on my opinions, but I am I encourage you to leave a comment below if I'm missing a card or maybe one of these cards isn't beautiful to you. So number seven, Emancipation Angel. The blonde hair, the pretty awesome sword, the armor, the wings, the dress, the mountains, the sky. The fact this is uncommon is really kind of crazy, right? But the artwork is fantastic. The angel just has one of those looks like, hey, I should be a playmat of some type. Very gorgeous card. Next, Slave of Bo Boaz. Uh, this card is not actually a creature or a planeswalker, it's just a sorcery actually. And wow, it is a gorgeous. Look at the hair, look at the wings, look at the clothing. Uh, overall, it just comes out to be a fantastic piece of artwork. Uh, and as an angel goes, you're going to see that I prefer a lot of angels on this particular list. Which brings me to the next one, Basana. Basana is one of those cards that I can collect any amount of and be happy. I was extremely happy to see her in Conspiracy because her price was kind of spiking and I was like, no, I need more of her, not less of her. And Basana, very gorgeous card. Reminds me kind of like Aladdin. I don't know why it reminds me of Aladdin, but it does. The wings are incredible. Look at that red on that wing. Uh, look at the, it kind of actually reminds me of a cross between Aladdin and that book I read in like high school about like Siddhartha or something. Siddhartha, um, it was about a guy and he was like a Buddhist and he had a journey and stuff. Uh, and we had to make like a mantra or like, okay, anyway. Next card, Kalia of the Vast. So what's better than an angel? A vengeful angel uh, that can summon demons, dragons, and angels. Uh, overall, a very gorgeous card and one of the best commanders, in my opinion, one of the most fun commanders. And the fact that you can get both Kalir and Basana in the same commander deck, that's fantastic. Next, Dio Chan Artful Beauty. So Dio Chan is in the Romance of the Free Kingdom. She essentially is Helen and she starts a war. Everyone kind of wants to date her, I guess, would be the way I, I would put it for my younger audience. And very beautiful card. And it's a card known to be beautiful as a character from history. So a lot of these other angels they don't we don't even know who they are but dial chan artful beauty pretty much the helen of the romance of the three kingdoms next archangel archangel when i first came out i was just like wow this card is gorgeous i hope the pre-order is ten dollars and the pre-order was ten dollars essentially it was like 12 bucks and i ordered a ton of her and then she went up in price quite drastically um that being said she was definitely one of my best speculations and she will always have a place in my heart not seeing that much play right now, but as a mythic angel that looks that good, it's kind of like the pink wings. Basana is like a more aggressive type. This is like a more friendly version of Basana, in my opinion. And number one. So number one is Bane Alley Broker. This card is gorgeous. I got to see the large print in person. And I got to actually, uh, the artist Clint Cleary makes GPs a lot. And this is one of his best-selling prints. And actually, I have a whatever like art card where the back of the card is a proof it's an artist proof of this card and it is beautiful like i just love it to um i probably should get more of them but like i <laughs> running out of money uh a gorgeous card would buy again would buy a big one to put put in my room somewhere uh, reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy, Riku. Uh, reminds me a lot of Riku. And Riku is definitely one of my favorite characters. Um, probably either one or two. I gotta say Cloud is probably my favorite character and then Riku's number two. So this artwork just represents like a older version of Riku to me. It's very beautiful. Um, so if your list differs from mine or you disagree with where I'm putting these cards, then uh, leave a comment below and uh, I'm sure we can uh, engage in a interesting conversation. Bye guys.